Alrighty. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about Kershaw versus Kaiser. Because I had something happen with this knife the other day that I was not impressed with. So let's start off over here. These are Kaiser. This is the Kaiser Shark Tooth N690. Sweet little blade, eighth inch thick. Really nicely done. Uh, $40. I got that for. It was on sale, of course. But $40. I don't know what the re retail price is. But... And this one, it's the Manganus. And it was, I got it for $60. Green micarta, brass, a uh, little flipper tab, M N690 steel, little recurve clip point. Uh, real nice ladder lock, good lock up, getting like, pretty thick, old mirror polished on the inside, solid brass backspacer, just just real nice, this was $60, normally it's uh, $90 I think, got it on sale, super smooth action, real nice, especially for $60, nuts, and then this, uh, Kaiser, uh, I think it was the mini harpoon, or, yeah, that was the har yeah, Harpoon Mini. There you go. Then CPM 10V. This thing holds an edge like you would not believe. Like seriously, it's $75. Yeah, I, I used it like solid for like a week and a half. Just cutting everything. And it was still sharp enough to cut a tissue afterwards. You can see the, the coating wearing off. The coating is wearing off faster than the knife is Ooh, faster than the knife is dulling. Look at that. Just stab my table with it. I got butter fingers. Okay. And then this is called the Kaiser Flip Shank. Okay. It's black G10 on this side with titanium, and then titanium on this side with a frame lock. Wait. S35VN steel. And it's flat ground. I think these are all flat ground. Just an awesome little little blade. Super stout, super chunky. This was 60 bucks. Also on sale. I think it's more around $100, not on sale. Okay. If they even make it still. I don't know. I think it might be discontinued. You know, but centering's good. Centering's good. This one actually has a pen to keep the centering good. Okay, now moving on here. This is the Kershaw Link. Okay, this thing goes for like $100. I got it for $20 because I had a whole bunch of reward points built up. Okay, aluminum scales on top of steel liners with a plastic back spacer. Okay, and it's spring assisted, pops open. It's supposed to have a CPM 20 CV blade. Okay, little USA flag on there. I think it's supposed to be a USA made one. But um, the liner lock, you can see how much it's engaged there. Oh, it's tough to see with this light. But it's, I had to take it apart and sand down the liner in there so it would actually pop over. Because it wasn't even engaging. It wouldn't even go all the way over to lock the knife open. So then I tried to use it and it, of course, started to close on me because it didn't lock open. And then, on top of that, uh... I was using this knife to cut uh, the, the little rubber mats you put inside your cabinets, so the plates and stuff don't slip around. I was using it to cut that. I was cutting them against uh, my booze block cutting board that I have in my kitchen. So you know I was cutting against wood, and I think it's a I think it's a maple board. But uh, yeah, it absolutely killed the edge on this thing and those cabinet liners are like a, it's like a super soft rubber slash foam 
So I really doubt those did anything to the edge. So it must have been the cutting board that dulled it. But I don't know if you'll be able to catch it. All the glinting on the edge. But it's so dull it won't even cut paper. Like it is horrible. And it's supposed to be CPM 20 CV. And it dulled that bad. Cutting against a cutting board. I guess. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of that dulled it. Which is just absolutely nuts. You know, it, that it should not have come anywhere near that doll, right? Not only that, centering is crap. And the centering is off because the liner lock is actually pushing the blade over. Okay. See? You can kind of push it back. It's the liner lock that pushes the blade over, right? And... Not only that is okay. This side has all the screws on it. This side has the inserts for the screws, so you have to hold this side to get the screw out, which is a pain if you've ever tried to do that. And not only that, all the screws on this side stripped out extraordinarily easily. Like I mean, barely any pressure. All these stripped out on this side. All of them. Okay, these ones on this side held up a lot better. None of these stripped out. All of these stripped out. Don't know what the difference from side to side is, but I do know that half the screws are now stripped out on this. So not only do all the screws strip out, the centering's crap, and the liner lock doesn't even fully engage after I even I sanded it down quite a bit. But when I took this apart, the steel liners were absolutely filthy like i mean the dirtiest i've ever seen the inside of a knife my it turned both my hands completely black and like four tissues that i used to wipe the thing down just solid black and i don't know if it was just oxidiz oxidization of the steel or if it was just that dirty when they put it together but a hundred dollars for this hundred dollars okay $90 for this. And this N690 holds an edge way better than this CPM 20 CV. So the the price point and value here is just not even close. This Kaiser versus this Kaiser or this Kershaw, this Kaiser wins hands down 100 times over. Okay? Like, seriously, if I would have paid full price for this knife, it would have got returned as soon as I got it. I And I had to regrind the whole edge, too. Because it had, like, a, like, probably a 35-degree angle on the edge on both sides. Like, it literally wouldn't even cut anything when I got it. It was sharp, but it wouldn't cut anything. So I had to redo the edge, and I had it to where it was literally hair-whittling sharp, and then cutting against a cutting board... Dulled it to the point where it won't even won't even cut paper anymore. So disappointed in that. Okay, moving on here. This is the Kershaw Lucha Carbon Fiber. Carbon Fiber Lucha. Okay, it's got carbon fiber with titanium. And then uh, also uh, 20 CV blade steel. Okay. And I'm hoping that this 20 CV... And that 20 CV are different because this costs three times the price this does. This was $300 where this is $100. And if this 20 CV holds up like that 20 CV, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. I mean, I haven't had any issues with this one yet. It's still sharp and I've cut a bunch of stuff with it. So I'm hoping that it's a better quality steel that they just use a lower quality or something because they made it so much cheaper but yeah i mean this this is nice this one is nice but again three hundred dollars to get a nice knife right which is just i mean for butterfly knives it's pretty accurate for the price range which is just i, I don't know why they're so expensive Okay, and then I got three of the Kershaw Launch Series, and all of these are actually pretty darn nice. 
Okay, all the centering on them is good. Super stout spring. Pops open. All the blades are nice. Good and sharp. And the, from what I can tell, this CPM 154 holds up pretty darn good. Definitely holds up better than this. Which it shouldn't. This shouldn't hold as good of an edge as that does. But it holds a better edge. Okay. Same with this one. Sweet little blade here. And it's still pretty sharp. Okay. And this one as well. This one actually, I had somebody, that one didn't even stick open, but I had this one, somebody dropped on the concrete on the tip and it like, it barely put a little flat spot on the edge that I managed to sharpen out, but it took a while to sharpen it out. So this steel is pretty hard and it holds an edge for a good long time. Like, but this here is supposed to hold an edge longer. It really is. This 20 CV is supposed to hold a better edge than this. And it absolutely does not. It doesn't even hold it as good of an edge as the N690. Like, it's just, I don't understand it. So, if I were to look for more pocket knives... I think the only Kershaw's I would be going for would be the launch series because all the launch series are pretty darn nice. You know, I can't say much about them. They've all been great little knives, but that link is crap. And I should have known 20 CV for $100 is cheaper than everybody else has it or everybody else makes it. Should have been, should have been a warning sign, I guess. But I kept seeing videos on it and everybody said how good it is, how amazing it is, and this and that, and blah, blah, blah. Junk. Absolute junk. Especially for $100. Compared to this. is just, it's just crazy. How much better the quality is for basically the same price. I don't know. I would definitely either Kershaw Launch Series or just go for some Kaisers. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with these Kaisers. Nothing wrong with them at all. Sweet little blade. They make this one in a CPM 20 CV version as well. And I think it's, I don't even think it's $200. I think it's in the $100 range somewhere. And it has titanium bolsters and carbon fiber. I almost think about getting that because I like this one so much. And then again here, titanium and S35VN for $60. Like... How can you beat that? Again, N690 here for 40 bucks. And this thing is sweet. And this, this here, if you want a little EDC fixed blade that's going to hold an edge forever, get you one of these. This CPM 10V ain't no joke with its edge retention. And I haven't had any chipping or anything like that. I haven't really like beat on it super hard though either. So I know it's not supposed to be the strongest steel, but it is definitely an amazing edge retention. And I did have to redo the edge on this one too. The edge on this one was pretty darn thick, uh, pretty darn thick angle on it. But all these other three, I haven't had to touch the edge on. Like I sharpened this when I first got it and I haven't had to sharpen it since. And all I did was run it across my black Arkansas stone to kind of hone up the edge and take out the, the sanding marks from the factory edge. But yeah, yeah, this is 75 bucks for one of these. This is way better deal than even like a Bradford Guardian 3 in like M390 or whatever. This has better edge retention and not even half the price. So... Keep that in mind. 
these Kaiser knives are really nice. I know they're all Chinese made and everything, but these are probably the best Chinese knives I've ever seen. And it even beats out this Kershaw for, for sure. These ones here are all pretty much just as nice. This, this Kershaw Link has put a bad taste in my mouth for Kershaw. This thing is not worth its weight. And it's made out of plastic and aluminum for $100. $100. Anyway, like I, I thought all the value would be in the blade steel. But that blade don't hold up for nothing. That acts like some 3R 13MOV or something. Definitely not CPM 20 CV. Anyway. So, those are my thoughts on Kershaw vs. Kaiser. I'd definitely be looking more at Kaiser for folding knives than Kershaw. Absolutely. Anyway. That's all I got to say about it. Hope you all have a good one.